Mm. Hello again. Um, actually, it's only been a few minutes after I made the first bit, but uh, I just want to talk. I just want to get things off my mind. I'm not the kind of person who likes. Well, this makes sense in the end if I explain it all, but. First off, I'm not the kind of person who likes calling people. I don't like having conversations on the phone. And I rarely do enjoy a real conversation with a person. Um, usually I'm just talking because they're there and I don't want to be, be awkward. That's not the same for everyone though. Like in general situations, I don't like talking to people. I'd rather sit by myself or have a text conversation because it's much more easier to filter what I say <coughs> talking like as I do now I tend to make a lot of mistakes I would go ums and ahs I would you know be unable to structure what I say so I really do enjoy literature writings uh, things like that um, what do I want to say This led to something. What was it? Phones, talking, talking, people. Oh, I can't remember. This is frustrating. Sometimes this happens. I tend to think about something that I really want to talk about passionately, and I would forget it just when it comes to crunch time, uh, which is really annoying. I guess I'm going to be like this for the next couple of days, just wondering what to talk about. I do assume that I'm going to end up talking about relationships and love and life and pretty much things that circle around my world, because uh, I'm not a very interesting person. I've realized that I'm quite normal. I'm like the most normal person you'd ever meet. I used to think that I was like different from other guys, but I guess I'm just the same. Um, what's to talk about? Friends, relationships, love, life, stress. When it all comes down to one thing, it's just life itself, you know. It's, everything's relative. Nothing's, nothing is really that important to talk about. People don't listen to other people talk about their lives because they've already experienced it for themselves um, which is another thing I gotta remind myself though I'm making these videos just to remember the past or things that have happened because I know I'll forget like the little things that make me happy a lot of the memories that I make with friends are really happy but because I am mostly negative well, in my outward thinking, I'm very negative, so I tend to forget the good things and just remember the horrible things that have happened to me. People, experiences, scenarios, things that could have gone wrong, or things that I could have fixed, but I didn't. Uh, I do a lot of that. like Just like when you get robbed and you, you come out of it alive and you think, oh, what could I have done to prevent that? I mean... The thing is, you're not going to be able to do the things you actually think up because it's already happened. You can't really change it. Uh, that's the case with me. I, I'm always a backwards thinker. I, I just think back to things and I'm, I'm kicking myself and I'm hating and I'm regretting things that I've done. And a really good quote that I came across was, uh, Don't regret anything because at one point in time, that was the thing you wanted to do the most and to pretty much break that down it's pretty much just saying what's done is done I mean if you regret it it's not going to change anything and in most cases when you want to do something so badly and you do it and you do regret it the fact is you did want to do it at that point so it's usually very unlikely that you would change your way of thinking before you start to regret it, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, that was a pretty deep thought. Yeah, another thing, before I do forget, I'm 
kind of at conflict with who I am if that's the right word to say it because when I'm in groups I tend not to belong in the sense that I don't know whether I should act one way or the other should I be this funny joking you know denial easy to get along with kind of person or should I just be myself <sighs> which is pretty much like this I, I don't talk like this to normally no I don't I don't think I do and if I do, it's usually when I'm very serious. I'm not serious now, but this is just really how I think when I'm thinking out loud. When I'm with friends, I tend to change my voice into this girlish high school, I don't know, sounding thing. And I guess the psychology behind that is I want everyone to fit in and be happy. And if that comes at the cost of my expense, if it comes at my expense, I'm happy because I don't enjoy watching people be uncomfortable. I don't like that. I don't like watching people become, become you know, the one, the odd one out. I'd rather be the odd one out than anyone be anyone else because I know how that feels. I don't like. It's just, it's just not right. I don't like how the, the structure of a group sometimes can change to the point where. They can ostr ostracize someone so easily and not be aware of the effect that has on an individual because it's a diffusion of responsibility because you're part of the group. You can say that you didn't do, you didn't have any part in it because the group did it. But then the group is you at the same time. Uh, that is a really complex concept. I don't know if people would make sense of what I just said. They say that when people cover their mouth like this, when it means they're lying. I'm not lying though. I don't know what that means that then, because if you're rubbing and you're touching your nose, it tends to suggest you're lying or you're twisting the truth in some way. I don't believe I am just twisting the truth. Um, and the thing is, the reason why people touch their faces is because the nerves in their nose are. They get tingly, they get affected when you lie. Um, I don't know the science behind it, but then when you when you do lie, you, your nose gets itchy and you have to rub it. I rub my nose anyway because it gets itchy. It gets itchy all the time. I'm not lying. And if I am, then wow, I'm, I'm a really good liar because I don't even notice it myself. <laughs> if, that, if that really constitutes as good lying. Uh, yeah... Uh, this has gone on too long. I gotta stop. But if you've watched until this point, I'm really surprised. So uh, thanks for listening to my thoughts. I guess.